Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we're looking at Happy Hedgehogs. Um, beautiful little stamp set because you've got so many different things on it. So you've got the cute little hedgehogs. You've got a lovely little bird with, with a flower in its beak so that you can do that for spring. You can do it for uh, winter. You can make it a robin. You use it for Christmas time. You've got the um, lovely little toadstools. And again, you can do them whatever colour. You can put a little robin on the toadstool. You can put a little butterfly on the toadstool. You've got this lovely sort of little flowering plant. Um, little bits of grass and a couple of sentiments so very versatile I've used it with all of the, the the little creatures and today I thought we would do a spring card and we're going to use the floral part on it so I've already put that on a block colors we're using um, I want it soft so I'm using smoky slate to stamp the image with and I also want some soft sort of springtime colours. So I'm using fresh freesia and I'm using a base of fresh freesia. So um, I cut my mats, as you know, a quarter of an inch smaller. So wherever you are, whatever size you want to do. So, you know, you can do seven by fives. You can do what, whatever size you want. Just cut your mat a quarter of an inch um, larger um so that you've got your your um your nice little border on there rather than an eighth of an inch so we're going to be doing some um some sort of coloring in on there so that we don't have to color the stamp because i know quite a few of you have said to me that you really don't like the idea of doing lots of fussy cutting and coloring and Things like that. Sorry, I was just getting a bit of uh, um, copy paper so I don't uh, muck my surface up too much. Um, so I thought I would do a really simple, as I say, it's it's that sort of time of year where, for me in particular, spring has sprung. And I love springtime. I think springtime is beautiful. And I spend a lot of time in my garden and in my greenhouse and... and um, Yes, do do a lot of um, a lot of time outside now. So what I wanted to do was not spend huge amounts of time with um, you know making long, complicated cards and things. So what I'm doing is I'm just loading up my brush, taking it from outside, and I'm just going over. The edge. Now, you probably won't be able to see this too much because I am doing it very, very softly because I don't want it to be particularly dark. It's a really lovely colour, but I want it to be quite sort of subtle. So you can always add more on, but you can't take it away. Um, now, we're going to be having the... Um, all the retiring lists and things are already up. So, you know, there are all the retiring products from the annual catalogue. And I will be doing a video to go through those. But I just wanted to do something before that because I always find that time of year exciting because the new catalogue's coming out. But quite sad because... A lot of the products that, that you know, we've loved um, are retiring. So, you know, if you're not a demonstrator, then, you know, get them while you can um, because they don't last very long at all. They, they sell out so quickly. Um, but I obviously, I try and only demonstrate things that... Um, are current so that it's something that you know you can buy from me rather than um, doing things that are retired but it does mean that I have quite a quite a selection <laughs> I'm uh, I'm one of these people who as I say I have 
I have lots and lots and lots. So, okay. Now, you can probably see, uh, hopefully you can see against this, that you've got a very subtle colour, which is what I wanted. But I do want to make more of a definition around the edge. So what I'm going to do now is get my sponge daubers. I never have anything... Um, ready you know me I'm not the most organized person but anyway I'm going to get my sponge daubers out and I'm going to use those to just go round the the edge because I want this edge to give a little bit more definition so it's preparing your cardstock before you stamp on it and it just gives it that little bit of color so I'm just going down. Fresh Freeze is a really nice colour to use because it is quite, um, quite pale. And this is what I wanted. Um, you know, you can make some really rather beautiful cards without using too much, um, you know, colouring, filling in, um, things like that. It, it's... Sometimes it's that, what do they say, less is more. And just sort of stamping in little sort of areas will make a big difference. So, as I say, I'm just going around the edges here. Probably need to re-ink my um, Fresh Freezer. But that's fine. You can see now we've just got a little bit round the edge. We haven't got a lot. But I don't want a lot. So when I put it onto the mat like that, you've just got that subtle blending through, which is nice. Okay, so... Oh, excuse me. The sun's really shining today, which is rather nice. So you should have good light. Um, what I'm going to do now is to take the smoky slate. And I, want, I don't want this part down at the bottom. I want the top part. So I'm just going to ink this up in the smoky slate doesn't really matter if I do go on the other side because I'm not going to do it and I'm taking it in the corner and I'm just going to put it down like that I love this stamp because it's just got that beautiful sort of detail so the next one I'm just going to tuck it in and I'm just making sure that I'm not overlapping. Touching is okay, but I don't want it to overlap. Then I'm going to do the other corner. So again, just sort of stamping it up. And then we'll take this one and we'll tuck that one in like that. Then I'm going to go in onto the corners. So again, just tucking it into little spaces without overlapping and it's quite easy because it's photopolymer so you can see exactly where you're going and then these little spaces down here I'm just going to fill in with a couple and then just on here just with a couple and you can see none of it is overlapping it's all just put down like that which I think is lovely smoky slate is such a beautiful color because it, it's really subtle but it works beautifully so we then can put a sentiment in and we've got it's so nice of you to be so nice finding a friend is the best discovery of all yeah not that overly keen on those sentiments actually they're not they're not something that shout at me so I think I'm going to use, what have I got it? I've got some nice sort of sentiments. Um, through it together. That's quite a nice one. Um, so what can we have in here? Um, you are proof there is good in the world. That's quite nice, isn't it? Uh, praying for blankets of healing around you and yours. Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams might be quite nice. I don't know. I've got lots of lots of ones in here. In fact, I've actually done these with. I've actually stuck these all on so I should be able to see what they say. And there's me. I've stuck them on there so I can't actually see what they all say. 
um, what was I going to have? Follow your dreams or something. Let me, I'm going to have to peel some of these off, I think, because I can't, I can't see what they say. What does that say? Um, stay strong, my friend. I'm just going to put these all in here. Um, I'm here for you. You are loved today and always. You are capable of great things. These are really quite nice, aren't they? Real motivational ones. Um, praying for blankets of healing around you and yours. Follow your dreams. That's what we wanted, wasn't it? You would find it after a while. Okay, so these are through it together. And you can see I've actually stuck them on. I think that'll work nicely. Now, um, I'm going to take it in the same colour. So it's going to be quite subtle. Or I could take it in black so it would show up a bit. So... What do we reckon? I think I want to do it in black because I want it to show, I want the, the sentiment to show up more than the um, than the background. So I am going to use, grab my memento. I'm just going to put the memento on there. So let's have a look at this and see. I need to press it that hard do I follow your dreams yes that's better and it does need to be in black because then it'll show better so this is just going to give a very simple one layer card but you can see by putting follow your dreams in just like that it makes it stand out a little bit and then if I just take the background like this we can take these bits off and we can see what we're doing. So you've got that on there. You've got that in like that. And it's very simple, but um, I think quite striking. And what you could do is just put a couple of little gems just down at the bottom. Let's see if I've got, um, I think I've got some fresh freesia gems, which I think will work. And as I say, it's, it's very simple, but sometimes simple is all you need you know a nice simple one layer card so these are the in color jewels um and we've got fresh freezer on here and you can see it works absolutely beautiful so i could put just three little gems just in underneath so i think i'm going to do that um let's glue it down make it look pretty and let me just grab some glue. There we go. So I'm going to put this in on here. And put this straight in on here like that. So you've got your nice little bit of definition through. You've got your follow your dreams. And then we're just going to add just a few. And I need my take your pick tool. Just thankfully on the other side of the desk. So let's just take that out. And I think just three of these little ones will work. So we'll put this on. And we'll just have it underneath here in that little space so we can have one. I always struggle getting them up. It doesn't matter what tool I use. I think it's just me. Um, so I have the other one about that distance. So I'm doing one on either end first. So I can then get the spacing right. And then we'll have one. Come on, little man. Up you come. There we go. The other one's going to come around the centre like that. So we'll just pop that in there. So it's 
nice and straight and even so you've got that that comes up like that which is lovely and what we could do if you wanted to just add a little bit of something is and this is where I rather than using blends and things like that which are really um, quite a bit too sharp I would use our watercolour pencils so let's have a little look and see what we've got that's going to tone in um, I think probably what's this one this is flirty flamingo so it's that sort of pink or I think the melon mambo is going to be a bit bright yes that's going to be a bit bright so the flirty flamingo I'm just literally going to just take and I don't want it to be too bright so I'm just going to do it on side of my pencil to start off with yes that'll work nicely so we're just going to take and just very subtly just colour in some of the little flowers and I don't actually think I want to colour in the um, the leaves I just want to colour in the flowers and very lightly I'm not wanting it to be it's very subtle the whole card I want to be quite you know subtle so I'm just going to go through now I'll carry on doing this all the way around but you can see just by doing that it just gives a little bit there's a little buds as well So you can see on there, it just gives a little bit of extra subtle colour in there. Um, but I think it's it's a lovely way of just using one stamp. So all we used was the Happy Hedgehogs and just use that lovely floral on there. But any sort of delicate floral, just fill the outside, makes a very pretty card, one layer, very simple. Um, so thank you so much for watching me as always. Please stay safe and well. Please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.